Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. This is James Seth Lynch. Let me just adjust my. Okay. <coughs> ah. Ah. Uh, and uh, when I said I died, I, I almost died uh, last night. I, I just want to make it perfectly clear I'm fine and I'll be okay. <laughs> um. Uh, I just need to take it easy uh, for a while. So anyway, let's talk to this guy. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. So are mine. So are my feet. You must be Deputy Beagle. Why, yes I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. But, but really, guys, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'll be okay. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, how'd, you have to, uh, how'd you end up being a hostage? I must say it's been the low point of my career in law enforcement. The powder gangers stole into town at night and murdered my sister and her husband, the sheriff, in bed while I was sleeping in the office. I watched them for a bit, waiting for the right moment to pounce and arrest a lot of them, taking careful notes as I watched. To my dismay, they found me while I waited in the shadows and brought me here. I hear you may have information on some cons that came through here, here with a guy in a checkered suit. Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. Ah, speech check. I'll free you, right after you tell me. I'm sure you mean well, but I'm afraid you'll have to wait until I'm in a calmer emotional state before my memory is going to function. Can you tell me about the people who pass through town now? I'm in quite a state here. If you help me with my bonds... I'll be more than happy to tell you anything and everything about those cons. I'll set you free now. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. I didn't cut you loose so you could run away. Stick with me. Oh, that's so gracious of you to offer to bodyguard me like that. But I'd only slow you down. See you outside. Are you really the deputy? I mean, look, I ain't saying you look incompetent. I'm just saying you look unfortunate. You know, I'm just saying. <laughs> well, that, that was funny. Uh, why don't we put, uh, da, 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 da. I should have done this in between the episodes. No, no, I need that. Okay. All right then. Let me just check if any of these guys are here. You've been to Denver. Strange place. Everyone lives in the sky. This one time, we get really drunk and one guy fell off. Then he got eaten by dogs. I like dogs. It's a pretty fun place. <laughs> uh, they have tired? No. The whiskey? That's useful. What do you have? I know I'm just staring. Staring as in the toilet. <laughs> ah, tire iron, yes. Good. Okay, now we can return to Good Springs. But don't worry, I will. I promised I'd get Kelsey, uh, our co host, before uh, we do that. Yes. Okay, but I know exactly what's in there. 
I have to give you guys some Don't sort of excitement. Mr. Killingsworth. Thus, I blow something's head off. There's logic in that. Maybe. Possibly. Okay, not really. Ah, uh, I have too much stuff. Duct tape. Okay. Come back here later. And I really, really need sleep apparently. That's the SLP thing. Talk to Beagle. I completely forgot what I was doing. Yay, ADD. Hey, you know, the rest of my disorientation. Hey well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in print. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Can you tell me about the man in the checkered suit who came through here? Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I was scored by performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Hello again. I don't suppose you did- What are you talking about? You're the sheriff now. Oh no. I'm just a deputy. And I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. What are the qualifications for a sheriff? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. I'll help bring law and order back to Prim. You will? That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. Hmm. So... Yes. Here we have the little predicament. We need to choose who shall take over law and prim. So... Yeah. Basically, we have several choices. The prisoner guy, who is obviously the worst choice, since, you know, he's a convict. Uh, there's a random robot, Prim Slim. He can be the sheriff, and he'll suck at the job. Basically, just choose the NCR. It's also... To, it, it gets you the best ending. Even if you don't choose uh, NCR... They decide for NCR in the main quest. 
it, it, it still gives Prim the best ending, and, and, and from a metagame standpoint, it's... Well, not a metagame standpoint, from an in-character standpoint, it's really just... Why not? It's the most logical solution. They're here, aren't they? Hello. You certainly can't take care of the town. Okay. Lieutenant Hayes. Yeah? Prim is in dire need of some real law. We know Prim is a great strategic point, and we aren't blind to the needs of the town, but we're barely holding our own against the Powder Gangers. I killed them all. We don't all. have the guns or the personnel needed to carry out our mission, much less take on defending this town as well. I killed them all. Uh, what do you need to take over protecting the town? What we need more than anything is bodies. If we had just one more squad, we could easily install a sheriff and still handle our primary objective of protecting the interstate south of here. If you'd like to see the NCR include protection of Prim and its duties, then you'll have to get some more troops up here. Knight at Mojave Outpost may be able to help. Uh, time for me to go. Later. So, yeah. Hey. These guys can't do anything right! Again, I don't like the NCR. In character, out of character, they just... They can't do anything right. They're horribly inefficient. Horribly. Criminally. And it's still night. Yeah, day moves slower. Day and night oh, moves God. slower in this game. I had the worst so. night's sleep last night. When we camped out, some prick comes along, shakes me, wakes me up. Starts ranting on about bottle caps. Don't worry though, I took care of it. Shot him in his stupid face, then went back to bed. Problem solved. <laughs> uh, yes. I, I, I'm i really starting to like Niner. His little quips are extremely entertaining. Now. Let's go this way. Now I'm probably going to have to cut the... Now let's see what else I can squeeze in here. Anything more than just traveling around. Come on, AP. I wish Rebound wasn't broken. I could sure use one right now. Rebound is an infamously broken uh, action point regeneration uh, cam. It doesn't do what it's supposed to do. Now, while I could just rush on through to Willow, uh, or Kelsey, <laughs> Kelsey Love, uh, I'm gonna end the episode here, and then start another mod up. Bye!